Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? This is Jago79, also known as Lethal Black Man. And today's video that you are watching right now is a very short session of Will of Fortune. And my customized character, who is representing the black female college nerd out there, is going to be the contestant that we're going to be rooting for today. Hopefully she gets to the end, gets to the bonus round. I want to make a black man, but unfortunately if you try to make a black man in this particular game, he winds up looking Indian because they don't have any black hairstyles for a black man. Crazy, but this woman can wear whatever you want to wear. You can make any particular nationality of woman or man you want in this game. Um, you put on any types of clothing you want, so... Even though she's a geek, she's a nerd, I'm going to have her looking stylish and looking fantastic. And we're going to get this game started. One, two, three. Let's go. Hopefully you guys can watch with me. It's only a 10 minute um, video. I cut everything in half and pretty much just showed you the first couple of rounds. The first couple of puzzles, I should say, uh, of me solving them. And uh, you're going to see what happens in the end. Can I make this character get all the way to the end? Can I help her get to the end? Can you guys solve the puzzle along with me? We're going to find out right now as you watch. Let's watch together. <laughs> and of course, that's not Pat Sajak. That's not Van White. You know, this is not the PS3 version or the Xbox 360 version that came out. And this is a whole new version on the PS4 as well as the Xbox One, I believe. And uh, getting to the introductions, he's going to introduce my character here. Looking very stylish as the anime geek that she is. And the other characters will be represented as well, but we don't give a damn about them because I'm not playing as them. I'm playing against them, and I have to beat them in order to become the winner. So let's see what's going to happen. We're going to start the first puzzle. It's a toss-up, and in this round, basically anybody uh, has the opportunity to win. It's fair game. You just got to let all the letters get into the screen, and this is around the house. That's the uh, clue, and once you, uh, you know, hit the buzzer, you can solve the puzzle. And I pretty much got this one pretty quickly. I hope you guys got it too, but you'll see what the solve uh, solution is in just a moment. And the solution is dining room chairs. Did you guys get it? I hope you did. You know, I have the ability, and I'm not, you know, tooting my own horn because a lot of people have this ability. I could look at certain things really quickly, like these puzzles, and just get the answer right away. And these things are never the same because I've played a bunch of these already, and I've always got different puzzles to solve. So this is not a, this is not like a repeat show that I'm doing. This is actually a different show. All right, so this is the second puzzle that we have to do, and uh, let's see if you guys can get this one. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Hmm. Are you guys seeing it? Are you getting the answer? Are you getting it in your head? Are you seeing it on the screen? Are you... Did you get it? Did you solve the puzzle? I hope you did. I always enjoy playing these video games, like trivia games and puzzle games like this, because when I was a kid, I used to watch shows like Jeopardy, Will of Fortune, Scrabble, uh, Hollywood Squares, um, a lot of stuff, Family Feud with my grandma when I was a child, and... You know, trivia shows and game shows always stuck with me. I may not watch them a lot anymore, but I do like the fact that I can still, you know, play them on these video games, these consoles that I have. And uh, my first spin, and I got a free play, which is really good luck for me because I get another chance to spin the wheel. And I get to buy my first vowel. And most of the time when you buy vowels in this show, you're always going to find at least one or two of those letters will be in the puzzle. And I decided to keep on spinning because the more you spend, the more money you make. That means I make more money than my own than my own uh, rivals, the contestants against me, and also more money to buy more vowels to solve the puzzle. So that's why I kept on spinning, and I had some pretty damn good luck spinning the the wheel. <laughs> pretty glad about that as well. But you're always taking a risk, you're always taking a chance when you spin the wheel because you can end up on bankrupt or you could also end up on losing a turn and that's the never good, nobody ever wants to land on that. Yes, so I bought another vowel and this time it's an O and it looks like we have two O's there. I don't know if you can hear the audio, I'm talking over it but I'm going to let it go in a moment so you guys can actually hear the gameplay audio and then I'm going to come back to you. About six minutes, uh, five minutes and a half left in the video. Okay. And it looks like I am going to Japan. I'm pretty sure she's happy about that since she's an anime geek. <laughs> She'll get to have her anime fix over there. Yep. So she's guaranteed to get that regardless if she wins or not. But hopefully we're going to hope that she can come out on top. 
And she's going to spend a little bit more to make some more money because she's greedy just like I am. <laughs> and uh, look, 600. And let's see what we got here now. And hopefully the you guys are watching this. Even I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people will watch because they don't like to watch my gameplay. They like to hear me talk or just do other things because I'm more of a pro-black channel in a way. Um, for the ones, the one people, the people out there that are watching this, the ones out there watching this, I'm thankful to you for it. And unfortunately, I lost my turn. Oh well, you can't win them all, huh? <laughs> At least I didn't lose my money though. So now the. Uh, contestants get their turn to spin the wheel and let's see if they can do it and unfortunately for this guy right here as soon as he makes his first spin he loses a turn too bad buddy dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I forgot that's uh price is right <laughs> but yeah um it never hurts to take a break from talking about politics or black issues just for one day I mean I know some people say they never take a break but I want to take a break and you know do some of these Light-hearted, family-oriented videos with these gameplays, because a lot of you people, a lot of you people like me, you play video games on your phone, you play video games on your system, even if you're older, like me, in your 40s or your 30s, or even in your mid 20s or early 20s, you like to play video games. And I'm, a, I'm a gamer too. I've been a gamer since 1983 when I was four years old, so it's never gonna stop. And it started with me with Atari. So these games just stick and they get better and better. And I love trivia games because I love to test my mind and see how smart I am. So I love games like Trivial Pursuit. Games like Jeopardy, games like this, you can solve the puzzles in your head, and then, you know, just test your knowledge of things. I like stuff like this, so that's why I decide to do these types of, you know, I, I decide to play these types of games. And my wife loves playing this game with me. She loves tennis as well, but she loves to play this game. She, she gets mad when she loses, but she's, she's, a good, she's a pretty good opponent, I have to admit. She's a pretty good opponent, so I give her credit. But uh, let me just take the audio off for one moment, and I will return in a few minutes, let you hear the audio itself. And let's see if you can solve this puzzle. If you'd like to buy a vowel, you can... we have one eye. Five hundred. Yes, we have some ends. Well, that's a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. Contestant number one, it's your chance. I am speechless. Did you just pull that out of thin air? No, actually, it's called being smart. I solved the puzzle. That's all there is to it. And, guys, you're looking at the final puzzle before the final round. And, pretty much, once again, your boy has solved the puzzle. Because I'm just that damn good. I'm just that damn good. And so was my anime-worshipping black girl wow, nerd. <laughs> so we're going to go to the final round and uh, let's see if we can make things happen. Let's see. Let's see. Fingers crossed now. We're ready to start the bonus round, I think. Let's get over there. Would you follow me over here, please? Food and drink. I think you know the letters. R, S, T, L, N, and E. Let's see what kind of help you can get. You know the drill here. We'll need three consonants and a vowel. Wow, you made that look easy. I got so lucky. I just guessed that and I got so lucky. Now can you guys guess what the short, so solution is? Hmm. If you thought it was cafe, you're wrong. It's actually homemade cake. Yes, baby. I think you'll feel good about this. You can add forty thousand dollars to your winnings. Looks like all you guys who are rooting for her to get to the end and win the big money. Looks like it paid off. 
I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for playing along and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.